I'm recording it. Before the game, they never committed to 29 turnovers. Do you think you had a chance to <coughs> force them into that many before the game? I didn't. I didn't have any idea. Um, Larry did a great job with the scout with X and OYs, what they were going to do. So we, we had a pretty good idea of what they were going to do. JC was terrific. JC, I thought, had such great ball pressure. And we, we made some rotations. I thought double teams were better. Nate was really, really good. We, a lot of energy. we have a lot of energy. It's, it's a whole lot better. Yeah, of course, some of these turnovers are cross half court. I know it's probably kind of an overrated thing, but well, it's not overrated. That's <laughs> that's kind of what we preach. Every, every team I've like had pressed has turned people over more after the ball got across half court than they do in the front court. Because you shrink the court and not cover as much ground. And that's, that's, been, that's been our message to them for about the last three weeks is we've got to start shrinking the court. Right now. We've got to make the court smaller. <coughs> got hurt on the glass in the first half. What were you able to do to flip it around a little bit in the second half? Well, we talked about it, obviously. But, I mean, we worked on it. We, we, we knew that um, this league, there's their team, you know, guys really coach rebounds. We did do a good job at Texas Tech. I thought we did a pretty good job at TCU. And we did do a good job in the first half. But honestly, ours is hard because we get so spread. You know, we get so spread, and you're, you're, you know, you're running out of traps. They're always going to have a free guy when you have the length and the athleticism that Baylor has. It makes it hard. Coach, your your core group. This was their fourth game against the number one team. So I'm just kind of wondering. You know, as you're going in preparation for this game, did that number one ranking even mean? <coughs> Anything to them? They asked me on TV after the game, you know, the, you know, the, the, kind of the same deal, you know, this is, this is my alma mater and coming back and being the number one team here, you know, in front of my fans and all. And, and I said to them, I, I, there wasn't anybody in our locker room that didn't think we were going to win. with the students celebrating and having fun, you know. Um, and they were terrific tonight, by the way. They were absolutely fantastic tonight. We just need to get them to do an awful job. But um, I want it to become expected. That's, that's, when we're, that's when we're kind of arriving right there. I mean, you're kind of, I mean, in Kansas last year, <coughs> this one, I mean, you're kind of on that path, aren't you? I hope so. Uh, you know, the, the, the hard thing is, you know, uh, tomorrow tomorrow we start looking at Texas and figuring out what we, what we need to do with Texas. And Thursday, those guys come in here, and, 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 and as I told them, you know, enjoy it. But we got to go back to work on Thursday now. And, and we got to go back to work. They had really good energy in two practices this week. We got to have great energy so we can get something done to make sure that, you know, this, this don't mean anything. Right at the end of the first half, you're up five, and then you put the four shooters in, and then you ended up getting a shot with Nate. There was that—that that was a big uh, basket. But what were you thinking there when you it just, just? I was thinking of just how smart a move that was. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about doing it because you know James Long and Beal shoot the ball so well, and and I, what I what I hoped was it kept everybody spread. And then we, we ran screen to screener for for, uh, for Lamont, and they kind of both covered him, and Nate was wide open. So it's just it's just an outstanding coaching. <laughs> 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 
uh, Adrian. I mean, you, you talk highly of him all year, and you know, maybe a good career. But I mean, here's a guy that's not particularly athletic. I mean, he's given up four inches tonight. Yet he's he's learned how to rebound. He's learned how to how to, how to do so many do so many things. I mean, he gets he's become more of a player maybe than he has any right to. Is that fair to say? Well, he's, he's got really good feet, Bob. I think that's the that, that, that's his his best attribute is, <coughs> is his ability to guard in, in, the, in the in the open court. You think about who he's guarded. He's guarded all the point guards really in our league, and he's done a heck of a job standing in front of him. He's done a heck of a job turning him. He's done a heck of a job leading him into double teams. That's the best thing for us, for us the way we play, um, and then. He has he has hasn't shot the ball very well of late, but we know how capable he is of making shots. And he came out today and made shots. Uh, I thought played really well. But he, you know, he he never really drove it to the basket until you know the end of last year, and then this year he was really a kind of a catch and shoot guy. And I think you know he's he's expanded his game. And, but he doesn't do things that he's not capable of doing very often. And that's, I think that's the, that's the battle. Do what you can do. Don't, don't try to do things you can't do. But, I mean, I, the answer, I, I think he's a heck of a player. I mean, I, if, he's not, if he's not one of the best players in this league, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to see the guys better than him. What was good a year ago was having him a sponge, and, and we're, we're trying to kind of we're trying to groom Magic to do that because he's got really good feet. Uh, so we're we're working with him. We're working with Lamont. They're not close to where Nate is now. We've been playing him too many minutes. I tried. I tried to. I tried to get him out a little bit. You know. I only played him 30 minutes today. I've been playing him 36. Bob, it was about a week ago you said it was the worst you've been defensively, and past the games it was pretty good. Um, just plug back in. A lot of it's energy, Mike. You know, okay. a lot of it's energy, and a lot, a lot of it's just energy and concentration, and we, we kind of we, we wavered a little bit in that. Um, we have the ability. I mean, everybody tells me after they play us that you can't simulate our foot speed. It's a cumulative effect, like, like I always say. It's, it just wears you down. Do you think reputation comes into it, too? Because before they could even wear down, in the first five or six minutes, it's like they were seeing ghosts and maybe anticipating greater speed than they encountered. Um, and yeah, it makes you uncomfortable. It makes you uncomfortable. It's just a, you, don't, you don't see it often. You said JC. He's pretty fast, he isn't all that fast. Um, he made Baylor a pretty fast team. <coughs> According to Dax, he's the fastest guy on the team. I mean, we would never know because we've never seen him run. Um, <laughs> but he claims to be the fastest guy on the team. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I've never seen him run. Because he's too fast. Yeah, that must be what it is. Coach, for the, pretty much for the second consecutive game, middle of the second half, you know, maybe when you need a bucket, it's, you know, Brandon kind of steps in. Yeah, End of that row. Yeah. yeah. we got two of them. Well, you know, that, that three-headed monster's been pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's far and away the best one I've just played. I mean, obviously, he hasn't played even close to that. I, I thought his, 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 uh, his enthusiasm was contagious today. Brandon was, Brandon was Brandon, but Brandon's been doing those things. I forget what, I forget what Tony said. I think we got 18, 18 points. 
difference from those two, and I didn't count Sags. And Sags made two just really, really terrific blocks that got us out in transition, got us easy baskets. And when you, you know, you think what the three of them together bring, if we could get Elijah play like that all the time, Brandon's been fairly consistent, and Sags is getting better and better. If we get Elijah to play like that, that's a then, you know, they don't have to worry about getting tired because they know they got somebody to come in and they really don't have to worry about foul trouble. You mentioned the Luther Bomb physical skills in defending. How much of it is knowledge? There was one like midway through the second half where it looked like he just baited the pass to go where he wanted to go, and broke on it, and caught it, and scored. How he much watches, of it is he watches, he watches a bunch of film. A bunch of film. He's he's, pro he's probably puts as much time as anybody out there. You know, in terms of he's in the gym all the time. He and James have this ongoing thing to hook and get the most shots. But he's in watching film. I mean, he's in, he's in the film and he's watching film. All the time. He'll, he'll watch film of us and how we can get better about some of the things he did, and he'll watch film of us. <laughs> Say that Carter used to be a two guard playing a point and he's become a point guard. He's getting better. I thought he made really good decisions. He, the only time he ever played point was on the AU team, which is, which is where I saw him. Rather choke Dax or hugging? <laughs> I just kind of, I mean, I understand. I mean, I, 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 I understand. I mean, I. I I could never do that, but, but but I understand. But I mean, he did it at TCU and got him back in the game. Now, obviously, that wasn't going to get him back in the game, but uh, he can't do that. You know, I mean, uh, we can't, we can't, we can't. You can't penalize your teammates by doing something like that. Anything else? Um, the Kansas game. Fifteen percent games left in the year as it is this year. What kind of what can a win like this do to energize the team? How would that affect the team going forward? I don't. I didn't think we needed energized. I thought our energy was really good. I thought our practice was really good. You know, it, well, what you got to understand is, you know, you get home at five thirty in the morning, which we did from Texas Tech. It takes a little out of you. And it just really screws up your routine. And I, I'm preaching to them all the time about make sure you get your rest, make sure you eat right, make sure you you know you drink a lot of fluids. I think it's it's way more than that than energy. I mean, if we're because of, because of the travel thing. I mean that it's going to have some energy. We've just got to we've got to try to uh, minimize it as much as we possibly can.